Hi, my name is Mary Spender, and this time last year I demoed a carbon fibre guitar that literally changed the game for me. My video for The Lava Me has now had over 4.5 million views, and guess what? Lava Music have now sent me The Lava Me Pro to take a look at. This is the black and gold version of their latest carbon fiber guitar, and this full-size instrument at 41 inches has been designed for stage performances. Now, as I mentioned in my other video, the smaller version, which is 36 inches in height, with a small 23.62 inch scale length, is definitely more suited to being a travel guitar because it's nice and compact. You will see two differences instantly, the size, and then also this one uh, has a, a glossy top. This one looks to be around the 25.5 inch scale length and is based on a dreadnought shape. However, the waist isn't quite as prominent and it's kind of streamlined and the back is curved. <laughs> Now, I really respect the partnership that has made this guitar possible because the preamp built into this guitar was a collaboration with LR Bags, who make incredible pickups. Like I have an LR Bags in my Martin OM. So I trust LR Bags to make good stuff because I've got one in my OM 28E. And do not fear, it still has those awesome built-in effects, the reverb, chorus, and delay. So you could potentially go on tour without a pedal board, or so they advertise. Okay, getting real. I know no one is going on tour right now, but fingers crossed that we'll be able to someday soon. <laughs> The onboard interface is really simple, but basically there are some improvements here. Well, actually three new features. It has tap tempo delay, so you can control the speed by pushing down this button rather than turning the knob. Tap tempo! Then it has turbo mode. Now, I'm not sure how many solos you'd rip on this, but it boosts the volume 50% with a standout tone. It also has the mix control so you can adjust and blend the sound of the body mic and piezo. So some of these features only worked when it's plugged in to an amplifier, but thankfully they've also incorporated the fantastic free boost feature that still blows me away. You don't need an amp or cable and can play with the delay, reverb and chorus effects with one push of the button. Now to get this working, you do need to charge the guitar using a USB-C cable provided. Uh, now I tried to time how long it took to actually charge it and I think it's around the two hour mark for it to be fully charged and I'm still working out how long the battery life lasts for when you're playing it so check below uh, for my updates in the comments. The soundboard is designed with a combination of carbon fiber layers and honeycomb structures. Yum. It's super light but strong, and then supposedly the phantom structure transfers the vibration from the strings to the entire soundboard with purposeful frequency. Very clever. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, again, just like the other guitar, because of it being carbon fiber, it can handle any temperature. It can survive temperatures hotter than the Sahara Desert and colder than Iceland. I think that'll do me, but right now I'm unable to double check that claim. And if only it were waterproof too. The finish is super glossy and the classic carbon fiber pattern on the top makes this guitar look very expensive. Now, often people ask me to price guitars, but obviously prices change. So check out the link in the description if you want to find out more. At the moment, this is about double the price of the travel size guitar. So it does come with a pro price tag. ASMR. Let's talk about the neck because it has an ultra stiff carbon fiber rod and an aluminium neck connection structure built in. It comes with Elixir NanoWeb strings and the machine heads are screwless. It's a thick neck, possibly too thick for my style of guitar playing. But how do you protect this instrument? Well, it comes with a lightweight case, which feels like great quality and feels super strong with adjustable straps, but it's a bit unusual as you essentially put the guitar in upside down. It's kind of like an upside down case that's though. Confusing. That's a bit weird, that isn't case it? Is confusing, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> It doesn't have a built-in tuner. If you're wanting to go on stage without a pedal board, I think you'll need one. So hopefully that'll come in the next incarnation. I can see my hands get older. You aren't holding them. Existing somewhere out there. Who are you kissing? Might they look like me? Will they do you harm? I could be the one to mend you or make you come undone. Now, I think they've tried to counteract any criticism of the guitar slipping whilst you're sat down. It slips because of the curves by providing a stable pad sticker. Basically, the back is so rounded, if you don't use this, it'll slide all over the place. That obviously doesn't matter if you're standing up on stage, but stick the stable pad on immediately. This one's got, you know, it's got the sort of traditional look. So it just sits nicely on your lap. The other guitar came with a guitar strap. This one doesn't, but the strap holders aren't all that standard. So you might need to make some modifications so your strap fits. Can you get fingerprints off with fingerprints? Okay, so what do you think of this new carbon fiber guitar? I think it looks stunning, it plays nicely, and it's great that they're growing their product range, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It really, really helps out this channel. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you very soon. Okay guys, this, this is useful though. If you need to get your pick out. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's a weird thing to do, Mary. What am I doing? All right.